beach fishing with ultralight line to catch whiting. Hi, my name's Roger Osborne and that's what we're doing in this video. We're coming down to the beach to catch whiting and I'm going to teach you everything that I'm doing, including a couple of really important keys that will get you catching whiting. Let's get into it. Now I've come down to a local beach today and as you know, we really don't get the choice of what the weather's doing. I didn't have an opportunity to have a look at this beach, so I've just come down. I really had no idea what the conditions were like. There's actually a lot of weed in the water, but there are a couple of small troughs of slightly deeper water near the shore, which would typically hold whiting. So I'm still going to have a fish. Uh, it's just one of those things where you need to adapt to the conditions. So I'm using one of my uh, lake outfits. It's a really light little outfit. This rod is rated three to five kilos, but I think I've only got eight pound line on this rod. I'm fishing with a single hook and I'm using worms for bait. So let's just have a little look and see if we can pull any whiting out of this little trough. You can see how these worms are alive. They're wriggling around in my, my bait bucket here. Would you believe that I caught these worms three days ago and they've stayed alive. I've kept them in a lovely cool spot and they are perfectly good. They've been alive for three days, just in a bit of moist sand. So that's really cool. I think the main thing that affects worms in summer is heat. So if you can keep them in a cool spot, they will really live for a long time. A real secret to catching whiting off the beach, when other people are not, actually is really is using super light line. Um, you definitely get way more bites from whiting and brim using really light line. And I found in my area of the coast, even 15 pound line's too heavy. And you can go fishing and you're not really catching any whiting, but when you, when you scale right down to just six or eight pound line, which is super light off the beach, it's amazing how many whiting you actually catch. The only risk is obviously you hook a really big fish, well, you're just gonna have to use all of your fishing skills to land it. But if you're actually targeting whiting, well then, and that's your main target species, you're not so concerned if you hook something really big and lose it if you're catching plenty of whiting. So all I'm doing is fishing with a single hook, single long shank hook and a worm bait, super light line, a little flick rod, and you don't need to cast far at all. Just behind me here, there's a very small trough. It would only be maybe 10, 10 metres wide, right along the edge here. The rest of this beach is really quite turbulent and there's weed everywhere. So I've walked along the beach until I found a spot where there's no weed or very little weed. and the tide is, it's high tide in about half an hour. So I think if I'm gonna catch anything, now's the time. So I'm gonna get into it. I had a bite then. It's very average conditions here and I'm just testing out a tiny little gutter on the shore. And I definitely had a bite then, like a whiting type bite. So I might've lost my bait. I think I'll need to wind it in. Hang on, just had a bite. Oh, two bites, and I missed it again. What was that? Where am I? I'm just going to check where I am. Oh, well, I'm going to put another bait on. Oh, no. I actually have the fish. <laughs> I didn't even know it was on. Look at that, little whiting. That's what I'd like to catch, but just bigger ones. It's a weed. It's only seaweed. That nice little bit of worm. Just see, um, I'm really only flicking my line out about ten meters just into this little shallow, just a little trough on the edge. As you can probably see, it's pretty messy out here. The waves are breaking a long way out the back. There's no obvious decent looking water. There's a lot of weed around actually. But very often in these little troughs, you catch whiting and brim right on the edge. And you can see I've only got a tiny little rod. That's all I need. It's got about eight pound line on it. See if there's a, uh, an eating size whiting or two in that little gutter. 
There wouldn't be one fish out there. No way. Oh, man. It's really hard to tell. Yep. Oh, man, what's going on out there? I might have a fish. I don't think so, but I've got a bite. Yeah, I've got one. Yeah, here he is. So that's uh, two casts, two whiting, but look at them, they're only little. They like the worms. So I'm gonna let this guy go. You can see how big he is, he's not that big. He's probably only about 21 centimeters long. I'll let him go. So, I've landed two whiting already, which is great, but they're both too small. But this will be my third cast. I'm hoping that there are some larger whiting in this little gutter. And I'm really doing a tiny little cast, just a little flick. Just a little flick into that slightly green, a bit of water just there. The big waves are breaking out the back and smashing up on the bank out the back. I might catch a brim in here as well. There goes a bird. <laughs> in the water. It's not weed, it's a dead bird. <laughs> yeah, oh! Hat in. What happened then? I think I've lost all my... I think I've lost everything. I've lost all my gear. That was a better fish then. I think it was a bigger whiting, but for some reason, maybe I struck a bit too hard for my light line, I'm not sure. But uh, I'm gonna need to re-rig. But that definitely wasn't a small whiting, that one. If it was a whiting, it might have been something better. I busted my light line on the last, little, on the last fish, so I'm gonna be a little bit gentler this time. Hopefully I can hook another one like that, that would be good. It's a good bite. I think I'll let it swallow it and hook itself. <laughs> oh, I got a fish. I didn't even know I had it. That's a surprise. I'm going to be very gentle with this fish because I know what happened last time. I'm going to come right down to the edge of the water so that I can um, just gently wash it up. But using this light line is great fun. This is actually fighting quite a lot. What have I got? It's a nice little fish, whatever it is. Whoa, it's fighting hard. I just need to wait for a little wave to wash it up. Oh, I'm gonna get wet. Okay, let's see if I can go. Oh, it's still going. It's fighting a lot on this light line. Just wanna get him up, bring him up with this wave. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Whoa, look at that beautiful whiting. Wow. How's that? <laughs> That's a great fight on this light line. But that's actually a nice eating sized fish. It's probably what I lost last time. I don't know what happened last time. I, there must have been some sort of a bit of a weakness in my line. And I had a fish, but see that fought hard on the light line, that, that whiting, but it's working, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm casting hardly anywhere at all. This, I'm just flicking into this little, this little bit of water here. Yeah, maybe cast not even 10 metres then. Because that's where the whiting will be hanging out in this little trough on the edge. So I'm hoping now to catch a few more decent sized ones so I can get a nice feed. I was getting a bite then already actually. Yeah, I'm getting a bite. Got him. Woo! Look, oh, whoa, look at that. Whoa, it's a lovely little fish by the feel of it. I think it's a, a whiting at least as big as the other one. He 
Yep, look at that. What a cracker. Yoo-hoo! What a cracker. Another good fish. That's two quality whiting in a row. I better get this guy off and get my bait back straight out there as quick as I can. So I'm going to um, whack out another worm bait. That didn't take very long at all then to catch a fish. And I waited for a bit and he definitely swallowed it, which was good. Whiting are a schooling fish, so there's never only one. There's usually, quite often you can get, you know, you can even catch your bag limit or get a decent feed when you get a good school of whiting in a gutter. When we came down to this beach today, sadly there was a whole heap of rubbish in a couple of places that some people had come down here, they'd been fishing or doing whatever, and just had left a huge mess. I really find that quite sad because we have these amazing, beautiful places that we can enjoy. Why would you just leave a bunch of crap there? Getting a bite. Got him. Oh, he got off. That was another good whiting, actually, but he got off. But why would you leave a bunch of crap in a beautiful place? Anyway, we are going to collect the rubbish that we've seen and we're going to take it back and get rid of it because we want to be good stewards of our environment and look after what we've got. Anyway, I'm sure that you find that really frustrating as well when you see that. I better put a new bait on, I think. That was a good fish. Okay, well, um, I got my bait back then, so I maybe should have let that fish bite it a little bit longer. Although I did let it take it reasonably well. While I'm waiting for a bite, on my website, rogersfishing.com, I have a beach fishing course, a masterclass that I've put together over a, a period of time. It includes 15 videos and covers all the basics of beach fishing. So if beach fishing is something that you would like to really upskill on and improve your results, my beach fishing masterclass covers pretty much everything. Hang on, I just had a nibble. Getting a bite? Come on. Come on. Yeah, I've got the fish. Woohoo! I'm not quite sure how big he is, but it's another whiting. Yep. Another eating size fish. So, yeah, that's cool. Yep, no problem. Using ultralight line is very, very effective for whiting. The only thing is that you've got to be really gentle with it. You've got to be so careful because I've already lost a fish today because I struck a little bit too hard, I think. And when it comes to landing a fish in a shore dump, you can't put much pressure on the, on the line, so just got to be really gentle. However, it's a great way to fish. Getting a nibble. That didn't feel like a very big one. Just a little, like one of those small whiting. I'm getting a bite, lean into it. Yeah. Yeah, I got him. How big it is, I don't know. Oh, it feels all right. Yeah, he's pulling a bit. But then again, everything feels big on this little rod. <laughs> I'll use this wave to bring him in. Whoa, come on, up with the wave. Let's go. Bring him up with the wave. That's it. Beautiful. Another lovely fish. He swallowed the hook, this guy. 
but just a beautiful eating size whiting. I need to get my line straight back out there. Go, go! <laughs> also, if you're interested in learning how to catch beach worms, it really is an art and it is difficult. But all you need is a good teacher. And my beach worming course is very thorough. I've written the only book in Australia dedicated to beach worms. And also, if you purchase my beach worming course, you can email me and ask questions. And they're an amazing bait. Once you learn that life skill, you've got it for life. Whiting absolutely love worms. Probably the number one baits for whiting off the beach is beach worms, nippers or what, yabbies or nippers, and blood worms. But worms are right up there, right up there with the best bait for whiting. Okay. My wife's going to be very happy because she loves whiting. And I'm happy because that's specifically what I was fishing for today. So it's always good when you achieve your goal. Guess what? So far there's no salmon in this video. <laughs> Although it's always a possibility. <laughs> and I've caught, I've caught plenty of salmon on this beach before too, so. But it doesn't look very salmon-y where I'm fishing. There's a huge blue bottle just there. Oh, here it is, look at that. There's a huge blue bottle there. I want to make sure that one of them doesn't get wrapped around my legs. Here he comes, right there. Massive blue bottle. Yeah, got him. Oops, I've got to watch out for that blue bottle, which is just there. Oh, here's the whiting right on the edge. There you go. Another one to add to the tally. I've landed about eight whiting so far. But you know, when I came down to this beach a bit earlier, I had no idea what the conditions were like. And when I saw it, I thought, I almost turned around and went back to the car. Oh, I missed him. Yeah, I almost turned around and went back to the car. Because if you can see what it looks like here, it's really messy. There's no really clear, clear, you know, big holes and gutters. And there was a lot of weed in the water. So I'm just like, uh, will I go fishing or not? But then I could just spy a few little fingers of green water few little troughs along the edge and I thought it's worthwhile especially fishing for whiting on light line close to shore so I'm really glad I stayed and there's just this tiny little strip here of water so I don't think I threw it out far enough that time Just need to go a little bit further. There's just this tiny little strip of water. However, it's important to note that you couldn't fish here at low tide. I specifically came down for the high tide because I was hoping for a few little nice bits of water close to shore because I'm only using a tiny rod and I'm not casting very far. I specifically came down at high tide. And there's whiting in this little patch here at the moment, but as the tide drops, they'll probably swim out of this little trough and go somewhere else. Is that a bite? Yeah, I'm getting a bite. Come on, Slot, just take the bait. Take the bait. I'm getting a nibble, or I had a nibble, I'm just waiting for it to go on with it. I'm just gonna show you the rig that I'm using today. Very, very basic. I have a really small star sinker. I'm just letting that star sinker run on my main line, just straight to a swivel, that's it. So you just put the sinker on your line. I've made sure that the swivel is big enough so that 
it won't fit through the little hole on the star sinker because if you use a swivel that's too small it'll just go straight through the hole. You could put a small bead on there as well. I've got that star sinker free running to a swivel and then you can see that's maybe 45 centimetres long to my whiting hook and that's all it is. Very very quick to rig up and using the beach worms for bait. Oh, where's my thing? Just going to put another bait on. So I've just put the hook in his mouth. Uh, and I'm going to feed that. I'm going to leave a bit of a tail on it and let it dangle down a bit. So that it's a really nice, big, obvious bait for a whiting. It's quite a large worm bait, but it doesn't matter. Oh, oh, we're getting a bite, getting a bite, come on. Swallow it, where is he? Yep, got him. Just wanted to make sure that he swallowed it. Feels pretty good actually. Where is he? Oh, what happened there? I had a fish and ended up, then it got off on the edge. Got off on the edge and then I did a, a, a downgrade to a weed fish. Oh well. We'll see how long these whiting hang around for. As the tide starts to drop, the water gets shallower, we'll just see. There's still a, enough depth of water there to hold fish. While it's only a little skinny trough of water uh, that might be, by the looks of it, maybe about four or five feet deep, I'm still not casting in the same spot every time, unless I know I'm getting bites in a particular spot. I'm just kind of moving up and down the little trough. trough. I'm getting a bite now, actually. Oh, missed him. I've lost everything again. Wow. This is really a lot of fun. It's great fun, and this is the sort of thing you could easily do with kids as well. It's very safe. You don't need big, awkward gear. The kids can handle it especially in summer. Yeah, got him. No, he feels pretty good. You better be gentle with this guy. Gonna wait for this next little wave. Bring him up with this wave. It's not huge, but I'm just being careful. Cool. Before the tide gets out, I've got to get another bait out there before the water gets too shallow. Cool. Oh, missed him. I was a little bit eager then. That was a good bite, but um, I was a little bit eager, I think. Just gonna wait a little bit longer. He attacked the bait quite aggressively. Look at that. That whiting pretty much cleaned up my hook. Left almost no bait on there. So, wouldn't have been any good to leave my bait. I wouldn't have thought that it would have all disappeared that quickly, but... Oh. I don't know. It might have been a small one. Just gonna let it sit there for a second. I had a lot of bites, a lot of rat-a-tat-tats, but just didn't quite hook it. There should still be some worm left on the hook. 
took most of my bait. I've got a bit left. Well, you know, there's a, there's a fair bit left on the hook there. It knocked off a fair bit. Thank you for watching this video today. I've had a really great session. I'm, I hope you've learned a few things. Just, um, you know, learning some simple basic rigs and how you can have a lot of fun with light line and how really how good it is to use light line for whiting. It's very effective and you don't have to cast out very far. If you've, if you've enjoyed this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell because that'll alert you of when other videos are coming out and I'll see you in the next adventure.